New York City is currently facing hazardous pollution conditions, and it's got everyone talking, including some of your favorite celebrities. Let's dive into their reactions and see what they have to say about this unsettling situation. Among the concerned New York City natives are none other than 50 Cent, Cardi B, and Jim Jones. These iconic figures have taken to social media to express their thoughts on the city's current state, as it finds itself engulfed in an orange-tinted layer of smog caused by hundreds of Canadian wildfires. The air quality levels in New York have reached their worst since the 1960s, creating an apocalyptic feel. Officials have issued warnings, urging citizens to limit outdoor activities and wear masks when venturing outside. In fact, the city's public schools have already canceled classes due to the hazardous conditions. Let's start with 50 Cent, who took to Instagram to share his astonishment. Alongside a photo from Blade Runner 2049, he wrote, I'm headed to the store, if anybody need anything just call me. Law, this shit is crazy right now, New York. It's clear that the situation has caught his attention, and he's ready to help out if needed. Cardi B, never one to hold back, tweeted about the surreal sight. I kid you not, the sky is literally yellow today. It's giving smoking on ops, she wrote. Her unique way of describing the yellow sky shows just how bizarre the situation has become. Jim Jones, also known as Weevam and Jim, stepped outside to deliver his own weather report. Frustrated with the unpredictable climate conditions, he expressed his desire for a normal New York summer. In an Instagram video, he demanded answers, saying, enough is fucking enough. We really need to know who the fuck is in charge out here. What is going on? Continuing his rant, Jim Jones humorously highlighted the foggy atmosphere uptown, exclaiming, my niggas in the heights uptown might think Jesus is smoking hookah because it's so foggy. He playfully called upon God to address the situation, reminding him that this is not the club and to stop smoking hookah up there. Enough is a fuck enough. We really need to know who the really fuck is in charge out here. Like, what is going on? We started with panda weather. We got past that. Then the weather started acting funny. It's June. I still could wear Pele tonight when it get chilly. And now the shit is yellow outside. And my niggas uptown in the heights might think Jesus is smoking hookah because it's so foggy. What is this, smoke? You're going to tell me that... You're gonna tell me the fire in Canada got my shit smoky out here like niggas is... All right, you know what? Who gonna tell me where summer at? Fuck all that, bro. One of you, somebody gotta tell me where summer at because right now this shit is not even making sense. It, we definitely at the end of the Bible. What the God said? Fire and hell and... Boy. Boy. I'm gonna go back inside. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back inside. Somebody tell God this, this ain't the club. Stop smoking stop smoking hookah up there. I'm out. The thick haze even affected flights at LaGuardia Airport, causing delays due to low visibility. Meanwhile, New York Governor Kathy Hochul referred to the poor air quality as a national crisis. The New York Yankees also had to cancel their game against the Chicago White Sox, and it's uncertain when they'll be able to take the field again. The concern doesn't stop there. Other notable figures such as Questlove, Pharaoh Munch, and Meek Mill have also voiced their reactions to New York's pollution. It's clear that this issue is impacting everyone and leaving them in a state of disbelief. As the thick haze continues to hang over New York City, the residents and celebrities alike are left grappling with this unprecedented situation. Make sure to stay updated on the latest news and take necessary precautions to protect your health. And remember, stay safe, stay informed, and let's hope for clearer skies ahead.